is an anthill where 100 players will be trapped inside trying to survive. But ants aren't the only creatures that live here. There's cave centipedes, prey mantises, and even a demogorgon. Players are also set to hardcore mode, so they only have one life. For every subscriber I get on this video, I will be placing one TNT on my friend's hardcore world. So don't miss your chance. This is the 100 player anthill simulation. Our story begins with 100 ants being placed into their first anthill. Right off the bat, the chaos ensued, and they began to dig like their lives depended on it, which it kinda did. Phase 1. Ants are to collect resources, build up bases, and get ready for Phase 2, the expansion. Some teams to look out for is Team Ballers with the matching skins, Team Legion with the Spartan armor, and lastly a new one, the French. A lot of players wanted to loot the one source of food that they had to start out with, hay bales. Instead of being able to move to the right side, they are stuck on the left side due to everyone just digging. And as you can see, the more time that passed, this plan of theirs folded really hard, leaving them hitting a literal rock bottom with rocks right underneath them. But soon, they'll realize that it's not themselves that are the biggest predators in the ecosystem. Silly pricks. You are a little- Oh my god! Yeah, so those exist. Wait till they find out about these other bugs. The dirt on the upper areas combined with wood for them to loot. Both food and wood are scarce in these parts after all. What? You didn't think I'd give them everything, did you? You'll come to notice that there are a few things that the ants should look out for, like this house, or some of the clouds, the chests, and lastly, the lower levels. This is where you get the goodies from, such as diamonds, iron, and all sorts of ores. As time passes, the ants spread out a bunch more, spreading more to the right. There's a bunch of loot on this end, and wood that has yet to be looted. Another interesting location is the clouds, and let me tell you why. This is where you could get a hold of totems of undying, essentially giving you a second life. Despite most of the ants going downwards, this little ant right here decided to go up. Look at you, you little brainiac. But wait, there's more. On the other side of the clouds, there's another player getting super close to another one of the totem chests. So we got some people in the clouds. Ooh, some people are really close to this chest. Oh my god, are they gonna find it? They're like, they're so close to it. Oh, they're mining. Okay, I think they're gonna beat that potato pal person. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Metroid is about to discover it. Open that up. Oh, you see the chest? You see the chest? Yup, take it. Some of the ants actually get curious, and rightfully so. This anthill is actually one of three that you've probably already noticed. This is what I like to call the overground hill. Remember that. The ice hill is opening 30 minutes from now. And finally, we have the nether hill, which will be opening in an hour. Also, what in the world is this skin? Y'all be surprising me with the most randomest. Is this Shrek? Is that what I'm looking at? Finally, after a bit, they managed to craft up some pickaxes and began to get loose of this corner that they were stuck in. Yay! Not that far in. And just look at what is happening to this anthill. It's just straight mayhem. This is crazy. Look at this little turtle helmet. Where do you get this from? Hello, Adrians. Wait, 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 wait. Can you be my dad? Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh... Please? Please be my dad? <laughs> what the? No! No! <laughs> What even, bro? Ah, better luck next time, man. A dad? I'm too young for a child, bro. What's he even talking about? Anyways, let's check up on Team Ballers. They've been trying to make a base of their own here in the anthill. They weren't very satisfied with where they were, so they decided to head a little bit deeper near the middle to make their base. Stop breaking the floor, rap big piece of I also find someone holding a totem of undying, meaning that they found one of the cloud chests, and someone splattered on the ground right in front of my eyes, you madman. Oh! Um, oh my god, I- I didn't mean to- I didn't mean to break that. An ant's life is for real a hard one. Like, Jesus, bro. At the bottom of the overground hill, there's a lot of loot being taken and resources are running low big time. Before the little ants knew it, the new section had opened up. The ice hill. Phase 2. Ants are to prepare for the upcoming phase 3, which is the nether hill. This would give the ants that were unfortunate to not get any resources in the overground hill to catch up to their ant peers. Two players enter the ice area, exploring what it has to offer. Ballers, at this time didn't explore at all actually everyone yeah. listen to me we got to expand here rebuild base here's a good spot instead they began to make an obsidian vault type base allowing them safety in case any other nation decided to invade <coughs> french their team's in the lead at the moment in terms of players and an actual base taking a look at legion's team they've lost a lot of members only one that i can really spot as of right now they could be getting picked off if they don't be careful but my boy has a diamond sword what type of murder is this boy up to don't forget the French team as well, which were pretty split all over the place, but they plan to be the first team to raid the Nether Hill. Let's see how that goes. 
French Revolution! French Revolution! Yeah, they're pretty enthusiastic too. The lower ends of both of the ant hills are soon unlocked, but we look at some of the ants over here and they're struggling to break the obsidian that blocks their means of entering the ice hill. But it's only that section. Guys, just go up. But hey, we can't really blame them, all right? They don't actually know what this place looks like. So mining the obsidian with a stone pickaxe? You madman, what are you doing? This is the progress made on looting the ice hill. The ants are pretty slow at taking it over, but nonetheless, it will perish with time. I decided to make a deal with one of these unsuspecting ants. An ant deal is what I like to call it. But before I can do this, an ant tries to make a deal with me first. Okay, I'll, I'll hear you out. Okay, okay, listen, listen. Mm -hmm. I'm listening. You should give me dripstone. Dripstone? It would be extremely fun. It would... There you go. So I gave this little menace dripstone. I wonder how he's gonna use it. Then I noticed Chris is right behind me with both totems of undying. Now for the original owners of these totems, what happened to them? Did they not want to use the totem? Did they just die with it? I don't know. You should give me one, Chris. It will be very fun. Uh, should I? Should I? I'll, yeah, I'll just yeah, give them yeah. for now. You know what? I'll tell you what. I'm going to strike a deal with you two. So, uh -huh. in exchange for one of your lives, I will be dropping a netherite oh, sword with 255 sharpness. Yes. Wow. Yes. CVP is now on. Bye-bye, Bye-bye. 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 Oh, no, Chris. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I'm sorry, JJQ. You know what it Chris, means. It's, inst it's like instant victory. I'm so sorry, JJQ. But I don't want... I don't Joe JQ, do don't make this okay. harder. I'm, make, I'm going to make this extremely hard for you. Ah, no, don't. I will try and kill you. My best is the ability, Chris. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoever I wins, you, you don't have food. We'll get the sword. I have oh. red. Oh my Wait. god. I'm being attacked by everyone now. Oh my gosh, he's at four health. Chris. We need to help each other now until to get rid of these guys, and then we can finally fight. Don't fight oh. oh my god! Oh my god! He's one. Oh! <laughs> you have earned it. And right when Chris gets comfortable, it's a one tap. Oh! What the hell? oh I, I. Yeah, I'm. I. I didn't see nothing. I didn't see nothing. That is crazy. He has a 255 sword. It's a little OP, so I'm gonna give him like three, four kills with it, and then take it away. Oh my gosh, he's about to get one tapped out of reality. Yo, that dude better run, bruh. That dude. Are they teaming? Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. No! Okay, okay. We need to take that out. We need to take that away. All right. Crisis averted. At least for now. I thought I'd be nice, which means I'm giving no mercy to someone soon. This is Team Ballers. That's right. I'm pitting them against each other. I could give you guys 20 diamonds if you sacrifice someone. That yes, would be please. nice. <laughs> you want to sacrifice someone? Uh, p pick your sacrifice, I guess. Rat Big begins to attack one of the lesser members. Oh my god. <laughs> Yeah, somebody's killing each other. They're trying to kill this dude, this cute-looking dude. Yeah, take your time. I'll be here. Hey, yo, what the f- I'm pitting them against each other. It's so funny. Where is he hitting me? The rat- yes, Oh! Yes, what? Oh. And rat gets the final hit, killing off their own teammate. All right, I'll, yeah. I dropped them some diamonds because they earned it. You know, they sacrificed a living ant for diamonds. What's wrong with these people? The French ended up making a base on the nether section. It wasn't even open yet. I don't even know how they got in, but they got in early game. So honestly, fair play. Their bunker was cute and it did the job. These are the ants that are still alive. And if you were to personally ask me, a few too many of them are. Team Baller's base looks pretty solid. Though they haven't made proper walls, they have chests and stuff set up. So I'll give them credit. That DW person, the one that used to have the 255 sharpness sword has been straight murking people. He is dangerous, okay? Another species of creature that's found here that even I didn't know of is the axolotl. Yeah, I don't really know where they got that from either. Section three, the nether ant hill is now open. All three hills are unlocked for players to explore. Phase three, war preparation. Gives ants the time to gear up for the 3D ant hill coming up with prey mantises and demogorgons all over the place. All right, this place is no jokes. A stick bug ended up sneaking up on them, but it ended up suffocating then it got murdered. Okay, so that didn't work. Team Ballers ended up being attacked by the first swarm of cave centipedes. The bugs, the bugs commence. <laughs> oh my gosh. Reaper, move, 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 move. <laughs> it's horror. They're in a hole. Unluckily for them, they are stuck in a hole trying to expand their base. They're actually dying. They're getting massacred. 
I'm almost dead. I'm only a two heart, bro. I'm only a two heart. Yeah, Baller's team is looking rough. Their entire team, besides a few people, got decimated. Only around four of Team Ballers are still alive. These centipedes, I'm telling you, they give no remorse. I also wanted to check up on the French team over in the nether area. They got jumped by cave centipedes as well. Okay, go away. Go away. We're, we're just gonna go right right past. They're dying. One bad move and they are swarmed by a ton of these centipedes. You guys gotta be careful, man. An ant's life only has one. They're not cats. Oh, no. <laughs> He's like right under them. Yo, you gotta be careful, buddy. You gotta be careful. A corner base located in the nether hill was also discovered. These ants are starting to get a bit crafty. Despite them having a proper base, it didn't stop the cave centipedes from spawning there. They'll see it. They'll see it. See the bugs. So many bugs. They killed off the bugs, but bugs aren't the only things to worry about. There were people sneaking up on them. Hey, we're peaceful. We're peaceful. We're peaceful. We're, we're just random people exploring. We're not. We aren't interested in fighting. Oh, what is this, bro? If you really thought the deaths around here weren't that bad, just look. The cave centipede strike again on a separated ant trying to return home. But he had diamonds. I'm sure he could take them. Oh my gosh. Oh, no, 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 DJ girl. Okay, maybe he can't take them. Somehow, some of the ants decided to kidnap cows. Yo, they got cows up in here. What the heck? How did they even get them in here? You're in a trapped, enclosed ant farm. You guys genuinely surprised me. So, there's a problem with our ants in the nether anthill. They got themselves in a little bit of a predicament using trap doors. There's no escape. They're stuck here for Forever. This is Crippy, the leader of the French. Something seemed a little bit suspicious with them, like they were up to something big. I don't know what it is yet, but I'll figure it out soon enough. I'm keeping an eye on you guys. Then the French got ambushed. We're the Sorry. French. We're the, the French. The the French. French. The French. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no! I just witnessed the French die! Three Illies just massacred the French. What a menace! They were not the only team. 50% of the ant population has actually fallen over. Yeah, whether it's to the bugs, to themselves, or to the ant hill itself. 36 ants remain. What a massacre. What these ants probably don't know is that this is merely the beginning. There's one final area, but it's also the home to the most dangerous bugs yet to exist. More fall victim day by day to the obsidian. How is he stuck? Wait, what happened to him? <laughs> get stuck in there. They just keep getting stuck. One of the ants ended up getting into the nether. I... Hi. Uh, I'm gonna be real. I don't even know what to tell y'all. Um, <laughs> hey, bro. You made it to the nether. I, I, I don't know. <laughs> this was never supposed to happen. And then they started murdering some people. A full-on fight broke loose. Anywho, a bit of time later, diamonds hidden within the dirt on the overground anthill replenished. And the ants slowly started realizing. I decided to check up on Team Ballers again or at least what remains of their team this time around, decided to check up on the little ants to see how they were feeling. Oh my, wait, DJ girl, you're still alive? I, I made it. I don't know. <laughs> I'm, I'm shaking. Last okay, time I saw I'm you were being sworn. I got a group. I made friends. You did? Look, I made Yes, me. <laughs> I see. I'm hyped. I'm scared. I have to learn for a math test for tomorrow. I don't care. <laughs> Instead, you're doing an ant for I'm still alive. I lost, oh my oh my God. God. <laughs> DJ girl also ended up joining up with team ballers and they were all diamond up for what's to come and they're gonna need it remember tonk the one that asked for me to be their dad he talked to me as a ghost uh anyways the most powerful team would have to be the french despite their leader being killed a new leader rose up when the times were rough this was them robbing one of the ants in order to assert their dominance to the ant hive we just on some of the want to know if you can just give me your shield, just, just your shield and we can be friends. Just your shield, okay, stop. We're not gonna kill you. Just give me your shield and we'll let you leave. I promise. Get, just your shield. They're jumping someone. Oh my God. What did I just witness? They actually just robbed did someone. You... 
What? Can't let you pass. Uh, thank you for the offer. That was uh, kind. Remember, thank you. Kept looking around for some more bases. Ended up going back to the corner base of the ant hill within the nether area. They had a wee little farm. I don't know how well that'll feed one person, though. The chests I put around the place are still to be discovered by the ants. But exploring the nether section is quite difficult for someone without a diamond pickaxe. I noticed that the ants were lacking of armor. So we began a world event. Players can now find loot crates filled with an entire set of netherite armor, but it's guarded with a very dangerous creature. It seems that one of the ants have already met the creature of ours. There were more ants above them, but they avoided the trap. What the hell is wrong with him? But soon, we'll get some unsuspecting victims. Someone with a turtle helmet wanted it, but ran away. As you can see, Crafter here is near the creature, trying to figure out where the chest is hidden amongst the room. Remember, this guy gives all the ants nearby blindness if you didn't know. Crafter was so close to the chest, but due to the blindness, he couldn't see that the chest was right in front of him all along. Who's gonna get the chest? Only one set, but lots of people are trying to mine into it, which is a very smart tactic. Even the French begin exploring the chest. One ant is starting to attack the Demogorgon, but it's not killing them. That's the important part. It's the first person that gets the chest that matters at the end of the day. Crafter was so close to getting the chest. He literally built on top of it. The luck. No, the first victim to the creature. They actually brought him closer. Crafter's dead. There's only so many still alive around the place, but two decided it'd be smart to begin mining with their diamond pickaxes to get to the chest. They were so close. Oh my gosh, he got- Oh! He got robbed! I got it! Holy! I'm out of here! <laughs> I decided it might be worth doing another one of these at a different location. So I picked the nether anthill. You'll see why this netherite armor set is so important in the next section. This time, the chest is in the middle rather than at the bottom. And I surrounded the area with barrier blocks. So you can't really get it unless you go from the front. And that's where the creature is. Let the pain and suffering of the ants commence. Mr. Blow, that's a weird name, has already mined up a netherite set. He still wants to get another second pair for his teammates though. Ants begin begin to swarm the new location, but not all of them have diamond pickaxes to access this area in the first place. In the meantime, I check out some of the corner nether bases again, but honestly, it's starting to look a little bit abandoned. Maybe they jump ship. Some of the ants with diamond pickaxes began to mine away in order to get this chest. They placed water, but the Demogorgon slowly rises up each time and tries to hit them. This doesn't seem very safe, but honestly, it's, you know, it's there. Ladders and blocks are placed trying to take the netherite chest, and this boy got it, but then gets push into the creature but luckily the creature is distracted by a different ant which allows the people that are stuck to escape oh you poor steve it's about time we unlock the fourth and final area of the ant farms the three dimensional ant farm once ants migrate there pvp will once again be enabled a spot was picked out by yours truly for the ants to go to which will lead them into the 3d ant farm phase four the ants are to explore this 3d section survive against wars amongst themselves and kill off the ender dragon the person that gets the last hit wins the simulation there was an underground bunker that some of the players ended up finding early on the loot there wasn't too bad but they haven't seen any of the creatures lurking around yet as you can hear there are more of the creatures that are lurking in the shadows some of the ants are still at the old three ant hills so the ants began to migrate to this fourth ant hill but soon they realize it's not all pretty and perfect out here pvp is also now enabled a lot of them ended up having diamond armor some were getting into fights but tried making a bunch of truces and this is where the prey mantises emerge from the ground they chase ants into escaping and running away from them some tried to fight them but they realized that they were overpowered by ants by tenfold some tried wall running to escape these creatures these guys were deadly and they deal a tremendous amount of damage the ants had to keep on their toes because these sections are not safe spots Get into friendly. What the hell is that? Oh, what the fuck is that? <laughs> Yo, I, I don't know. I haven't I been able to find it. Oh, shoot. Go up, go up. Yeah, yeah. What? Yeah, what? What is it? Where? Oh, okay. my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Someone used the time to kill off some of the other ants. Eopoke was even slain. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Run. Please help me. Please, please, please help me. Please don't kill me, please, man. No! <laughs>
That guy just killed someone now. He's dying. He's dying. He's dying. He just committed violence. <gasps> There's so many cookies in this chest. I'm rich. <gasps> no way. What in the world? Look what I just. I just oh. We gave Mr. Blue a little too much power. <laughs> Oh, oh. Before people laughed. Oh, there's stuff down there. There's a lot of stuff. Now, you might be wondering, what's the point of the ants even coming here, even if it's so dangerous? Well, they come here for the sake of getting to the end of the event, and that's at the stronghold that is underneath their feet. Some are also trapped in corners with no armor, being hunted down like rats in a cage. There are also crates of netherite that could be found down here in the lower sections of the 3D ant farm. Someone is going around looking for a sacrifice for Eo poke the leader of team ballers the main team to look out for here is the french team they are making quick progress here they're trying to make an alliance in order to get to the bottom of the 3d farm which is the objective three illies ended up finding a house but then saw that there was another person in there and then began three illies versus this other person but three illies got destroyed well, that's the benefit of having a team, isn't it? Deshi is taking a lead here. Seems like they are trying to make some sort of an alliance. We'll call them the revolutionaries. Do you swear loyalty to, to, our, to our side? You swear loyalty to me, that's right, okay? Do you want us to win? I'm gonna no. ask someone that's okay. Oh my god, just kill him. Just everybody just die. Mind the block under him, mind the block under him. <laughs> down here, someone needs no. to get down here to uh, 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 attract all the Wait, wait, why don't we just dig around and then go down? Oh, well, yeah, wait, you're right. You're, we're gonna have to die. Fuck, what, what the hell is that? What? No! My arch enemy killed my entire team. And he's not wrong about that. His entire team, Team Ballers, was annihilated by cave centipedes. Honestly, I'd get PTSD. Respect over here. He seems to be someone that's knocking people off of the radar, which is cool. But who's still left? Let's see. So folded soup. What are you up to? You guys are still here. And as you can see, some are still here. But they are looting all the diamonds and netherite that still remain in the old ant farms. You diamond and netherite fiends. I'm on to you. Back to the French and their makeshift team. At this point, there's only about 10 people that remain. Oh my god. You have netherite too. Where's the buddy? Who died? There's a netherite. What's your plan? What's your plan to get on? Oh, to get the zombies! Uh, the zombies we, have to pick it up. We just hit him from above, I guess. Oh yeah, Frog, he can jump. I forgot he can jump. Come on, it might, it might I be fun. Oh, come on, come on, come on! Come come on. on. Don't, don't die! Don't die! Don't die! I'm not gonna die. Yet. I'm not gonna die. And then one of the players decided to do something a little bit reckless. Why he did so, I don't really know, but let's see how this plays out. Wait, wasn't <laughs> Yacht the one that... Wasn't don't Yacht die, don't die! Wait, oh! it's, it's, stuck. Stuck. it's stuck, it's stuck, it's absolutely stuck. Right, yeah, you can lure it away. What? You can lure it away. Run, 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 run. Oh my god. Oh. Oh, oh he dead, he dead. Oh. Sacrificed him, bro. This guy that was sacrificed was stuck trying to protect himself. Hey, can you help me? This is my friend Oweka. He only just woke up literally and was two hours late to the simulation he began in a dematerialized ant farm he started out by collecting some of the wood left over by the other ants and entered the ice hill not too soon after aweka began to go down in search of some stone or cobblestone so he can make some tools and just some stuff to work with he also ended up finding a bunch of logs and began to head back up he went to the coordinates given to him and to all the ants in order to enter the 3d ant farm so he started to go towards the right it was wasn't all easy though. The ants did a number on the place, but he managed to get to the nether hill. He started to go down and ran into some obsidian but went around it. Aweka also ended up finding a chest filled with netherite and he began to enter the 3D ant farm. At first he was super lost, but began to go back up to the surface. He ended up getting jumped by a prey mantis. He tried attacking it but realized that it did a lot of damage. So he backed up and ended up going down to team revolution. Hey, you don't have a choice, bro. I'm with you. I'm with I you. Do you feel loyalty to me? That's right now. Bro, I would you feel loyalty, bro? I, I'm loyal. Oh, yeah, my touch of loyalty. Oh, you have no loyalty to me. Oh, yeah, bad, bad. bad. Hey, look, 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 look. Oweka's trying to become the leader of this French team, but doesn't seem to be having the best time here. All right, looking up to me now. Look behind us. I'm, I'm on the higher block. Yo, who is this, bro? Okay, get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! Get him! It's a German? No, hey, no, no, he's my hey, friend, but chill. Chill. The guy they sacrificed. Swear loyalty to me, swear loyalty to me. I'm not swearing my loyalty to you. If you're not swearing my loyalty, your death shall come. Oh, jeez. 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 Oh, jeez
Chill. All right, relax, relax, relax. Everyone, chill. We're good. Everyone, okay, okay, do this for loyalty to me. Chill. Yeah, bro, we're on no. the same level. I don't care. Do you? Fine, whatever. I, I swear <laughs> loyalty to me. I swear loyalty to you. Sensei, Sensei, I swear loyalty to you. Sensei, Sensei, I swear loyalty to you. Please, please forgive me for my actions. While they were talking, some cave centipedes decided to sneak up on them. Fucking maggots. There's one coming! There's one coming! Go. Get out! Get out! Follow me! Follow me! Oh! 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 Are you gonna gonna challenge? Me? Oh! Uh, it seems that this team is really starting to get along with each other in a very strange, passive-aggressive way. Of course. Come back, please. Guys, we tank this, bro. We tank this. Oh my god! Yeah, I made it. I made it, brother. 360 no scope, baby. <laughs> <laughs> I can't stop killing things. I can't stop. Okay, I think he might be losing it a bit, but you know what? You go, man. You better be careful. Why don't we just go? Didn't he say at the bottom there's netherite set? Wait, wait, guys, do not go down there. Uh, someone in my VC, my uh, my team's VC, just said there's 50 points down there. Look, look, hey, shut up, shut up. Okay, we got this. Why are you guys? Yes. Why are you guys scared? Guys, I am scared. I am scared. We 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 serve to team senpai. Senpai. Yeah, it's not right here. We we need to be a team of equals, no leaders, nobody you above want, each other. You want equals, but in a team I, of equals. I, I, man, shut up, senpai. Man, man, shut up. Did communists survive? Man, shut up. Man, shut up. Man, shut up. No, no, no. <laughs> I, 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 I can't. Can. You're the warden. <laughs> what the? F I don't. I think I might be a bit scared now, Oweka. That just, warden is very scared of me. I PVP this warden multiple times in my lifespan. Then all of a sudden, despite them working all together, Oweka wanted to be the leader. I'm gonna try I know it. You are no, 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 no. Serve to me. I'll kill no, you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna serve to you. Serve to me. No, no, no. We cannot be. Oweka. We cannot be doing this right now. All right, bro. Who's on the higher block? Who's on the higher block? Me. I'm on the higher block. No. All right. You know this is dumb, bro. Let's go kill the warden. Yeah, yeah. You know what? Let's test who of the two is I'm not, I don't like Senpai, bro. I say we fight to the death, Senpai. No, no, no. We're not gonna fight to the death because we're actually uh, Hey, die. I'm sorry, Senpai. I'm sorry. I'm, yeah, I'm you know what? Sorry. sorry. <laughs> you're sorry. <laughs> Let's make it oh, no! Oh, Look, I'm not above you guys. You know, we're on the same level, but I'm gonna give us a little task here, okay? You know what we're gonna do? Yeah, yeah. Well, what are yeah. we gonna do? All right, bro, just because you want to be on the same level as me. Look, let's <laughs> yeah. just go kill some people, bro. Look at us, dude. We're, like, literally team unstoppable. Look at this castle over here. No owner seems to be around, though. Maybe they died. Probably. It's probably the most common case. Now there's members of every team that's out here. But Aweka forces him under strict rules. That poor guy from Legion. I don't know if Aweka and Legion are going to have very good terms after this one. Ginger here is the official sacrifice for Team Revolution. Oh, yeah, you're going to be our sacrifice. The yellow ant killed us. Kill the spider. Kill it. Uh oh. Ginger girls gonna meet you. Wow. We'll we'll send you down. I want you. I want you to go down this hole for us and tell us if uh go kill the warden. All right. Oh my God. He fell down. Hey man, how you doing? I got this. I'll get him. Oh no! No no no! Get out! Screw this, I'm not fighting that. No, Ginger, you have to fight him! I'm not you fighting have to fight. that. No, no. No. <laughs> he died. He risked everything. His life, his well-being, and his soul for the team. Eopoke started feeling a bit sentimental for his team's dead people, and he began to make honorary graves for every member lost. There's a bunch of people that are still around just solo, trying to open the end gate by themselves. As you can see, the lower areas aren't to be messed with. I hear someone mining in the walls too, and it ended up being Metroid, part of Team Revolution. By the way, you're right out of netherite chest. As you can see, the bottom layer is no laughing matter. They work together to become the most organized team within the last half of the simulation. They head over downwards to find a portal room and their escape. In order for me to intervene and allow them to go within the end portal, to the end, they need a sacrifice. And after a little bit, I made it work. Kind of. As you can see, many of the ants arrive at the end, the goal being to kill the ender dragon. There are many ants here, willing to sabotage so they have a shot of winning. Only one person can be clowned the victor and known as the queen of all ants. 
Oweka also ends up going rogue, killing any players he can, even his own teammates. But what ends up happening is they revolt. He gets chased into a corner and he flops dead. Only a few of the ants still remain with stuff. Can they actually pull off killing this ender dragon? Or is it going to be a relentless war that'll last forever? And then someone managed to get themselves a sniper rifle and started shooting down the end crystals like it was nothing. They also began to do some side quests killing each other. These ants are no longer a united force. Every ant for themselves. It's like an ant royale. They continue to shoot the dragon down and Deshi ends up getting the last hit. Deshi is the new ant queen. Unfortunately, lots of the ants end up getting jealous and chase him down with straight bloodlust. Congratulations, the French team won the event. Subscribe or get ants in your pants.